Baker, Wikipedia article audio. A baker is someone who bakes and sometimes sells breads and other products made using an oven or other concentrated heat source. The place where a baker works is called a bakery. Since grains have been a staple food for millennia, the activity of baking is a very old one. Control of yeast, however, is relatively recent. By the 5th and 6th centuries BCE, the ancient Greeks used enclosed ovens heated by wood fires, communities usually baked bread in a large communal oven. Greeks baked dozens and possibly hundreds of types of bread, Athenius described 72 varieties. History As a surname In ancient Rome several centuries later, the first mass production of breads occurred, and the baking profession can be said to have started at that time. Ancient Roman bakers used honey and oil in their products, creating pastries rather than breads. In ancient Rome, bakers were sometimes slaves, who were sometimes manumitted. Large households in Rome normally had their own bakers. The Gauls are credited with discovering that the addition of beer froth to bread dough made well-leavened bread, marking the use of controlled yeast for bread dough. In medieval Europe, baking ovens were often separated from other buildings to mitigate the risk of fire. Because bread was an important staple food, bakers' production factors were heavily regulated. For example, Henry III of England promulgated the Assize of Bread and Ale in 1267, subjecting all commercial bakers and brewers to various fees in order to practice their trade and imposing various regulations, such as inspection and verification of weights and measures, quality control and price controls. Soon after the enactment of the Assize, baking became a very stable industry, and was executed much more professionally than brewing, resulting in towns and villages having fewer bakers than brewers. Because ovens were expensive capital investments and required careful operation, specialized bakeries opened. Bakers were often part of the guild system, which was well established by the 16th century, master bakers instructed apprentices and were assisted by journeymen. In Amsterdam in 1694, for example, the cake bakers, pie bakers, and rusk bakers separated from an earlier bread bakers guild and formed their own guild, regulating the trade. A fraternity of bakers in London existed as early as 1155, according to records of payments to the Exchequer. The Worshipful Company of Bakers was formed by charters dated 1486, 1569, and 1685. The guild still exists today, with mostly ceremonial and charitable functions. Five bakers have served as Lord Mayor of London. The Columbian Exchange which began in 1492, had a profound influence on the baking occupation. Access to sugar greatly increased as a result of new cultivation in the Caribbean, and ingredients such as cocoa and chocolate became available in the Old World. In the 18th century, processors learned how to refine sugar from sugar beets, allowing Europeans to grow sugar locally. These developments led to an increase in the sophistication of baking and pastries, and the development of new products such as puff pastries and Danish dough. Duties and Occupational Hazards Two important books on bread baking were published in the 1770s, Paul Jacques Malawin published L'Art du Manier, du boulanger et du vermicellier in 1775, and Antoine-Augustin Parmentier published Le Parfaire Boulanger in 1778. 
A study of the English city of Manchester from 1824 to 85, during the Industrial Revolution, determined that baker and shopkeeper was the third most common occupation, with 178 male bakers, 19 female bakers, and 8 bakers of unknown sex in the city at that time. This occupation was less common than cloth manufacturer and tavern slash public house worker, but more common than cotton spinner, merchant, calico printer, or grocer. Comparison with Pastry Chef In 1895, the New York State Assembly passed a reformist bake shop law which included protections for bakery workers, the law banned employees from sleeping in the bakeries, specified the drainage, plumbing and maintenance necessary to keep the bakeries sanitary, limited the daily and weekly maximum of hours worked and established an inspectorate to make sure these conditions were met. The legislation was soon replicated in other states. Joseph Lochner, a bakery owner in Utica, New York, was subsequently convicted of violating the law for forcing his employees to work more than 60 hours a week. He appealed his case to the U.S. Supreme Court, which decided, in the highly influential case of Lochner v. New York, over a dissent from Justice Oliver Wendell Holmes, that the labor law violated a constitutional right to freedom of contract. This case marked the beginning of a pro-employer, laissez-faire era, later known as the Lochner era, which would cast a long shadow over American law, society, and politics until the late 1930s, when Lochner was repudiated. Frustrated with the rapid deterioration of working conditions, bakery workers in New York went on strike in August 1905. In Roman Catholic tradition, the patron saint of bakers and pastry chefs is Honoratus of Amiens a 6th-century bishop of Amiens in northern France for whom the St. Honor cake is named. Lazarus of Bethany was originally a competitor to Honor for the title of patron saint of bakers, but in the 17th century the French Bakers Guild settled in favor of Honor. Baker is an easily recognizable English surname of medieval occupational origin, Baxter is the female form. Equivalent family names of occupational origin meaning baker exist in other languages, Boulanger, Bullinger, Dufour, and Fernier in French, Pfister and Becker in German, and Picars in Polish. Equipment According to the Occupational Outlook Handbook published by the Bureau of Labor Statistics of the United States Department of Labor. Employment Statistics Bakers typically do the following. United States Bakers produce various types and quantities of breads, pastries, and other baked goods sold by grocers, wholesalers, restaurants, and institutional food services. Some bakers create new recipes. Bakers encounter a number of occupational hazards. WHO reports that bakeries, especially large manufacturing facilities, are filled with potential dangers such as hot ovens, mixing machines, and dough cutters. As a result, bakers have a higher rate of injuries and illnesses than the national average. Although their work is generally safe, bakers may endure back strains caused by lifting or moving heavy bags of flour or other products. Other common risks include cuts, scrapes, and burns. To reduce these risks, bakers often wear back supports, aprons, and gloves. Gallery Bakers' asthma commonly caused by flower allergens and the microbial enzymes used to facilitate bread making is one of the common causes of occupational asthma worldwide. Both bakers and pastry chefs make desserts and breads. 
In some restaurants and shops, a single individual serves in both roles. In other environments, there is a distinction between the two positions, with bakers making breads, rolls and muffins, and pastry chefs making desserts, such as cakes, pies, tarts, and cookies. Even when both bakers and pastry chefs work in the same place, however, there may be overlap. A variety of equipment is used by bakers, including According to the Occupational Outlook Handbook published by the Bureau of Labor Statistics of the United States Department of Labor, there were 185,300 bakers in the U.S. in 2014, with median pay of $23,600 per year or $11.35 per hour. About 28% of U.S. bakers work in stand-alone bakeries or in tortilla manufacturing, 26% work in grocery stores, 15% work in restaurants and other eating places, and 5% were self-employed. About 30% of U.S. bakers worked part-time in 2014. A Bakery C1465 also used for baking hardtacks or sea biscuits. A baker's shop in Oslo, Norway, with a variety of fresh baked goods on display. Bakery in Riyadh with traditional Afghan bread. Check the quality of baking ingredients, prepare equipment for baking, measure and weigh flour and other ingredients, combine measured ingredients in mixers or blenders, knead, roll, cut, and shape dough, place dough into pans, into molds, or onto baking sheets, set oven temperatures, place items into ovens or onto grills, observe color and state of products being baked, apply glazes, icings, or other toppings. Baker's peel, a large, flat paddle, either wood or metal, used to slide loaves into and out of an oven, rolling pin, used to roll dough, flour scoops, used to add, remove, or measure flour, brushes used to brush off excess flour from dough, and for glazing, flour mills, used to mill grains, may be either hand-cranked or mechanical.